the democratic service officer will take a roll call at the start of the meeting of all members and officers present. Should you wish to ask a question or make a comment, please can you indicate either via the chat function or by raising your electronic hand via Teams. I will assume that you have all read the paperwork before us today prior to the meeting. When speaking, please can you also introduce yourself. I'm Councillor Scott Jones, the Mayor of Neathport Albert, and I now like to call upon Stacey, who will kindly take the roll call. Thank you, Mr Mayor, and to confirm, I will only be calling the names of Neathport Albert councillors and officers for confirmation of attendance this afternoon. Councillor Aubrey. Present. Councillor Bamsey. Present. Councillor Causey. Present. We've had apologies from Councillor Clark. Councillor Clement Williams. Present, uh, Stacey. Thank you. Councillor Crowley. Present. Councillor Davis, Arthur Davis. Present. Councillor Nicola Davis. Present. Councillor Oliver Davis. Present. Councillor Rosalind Davis. Personal present. Councillor Edwards. Present. We've had apologies from Councillor Evans. Councillor Freegard. Present. Councillor Goresworthy. Present. Councillor Griffiths. Councillor Griffiths. No. Councillor Hale. Present. Sorry. Councillor Griffiths. Yes. Thank you. Councillor Hale. Present, Stacey. Thank you. Councillor Harris. Present. Councillor Harvey. Yeah, present, Stacey. Thank you. Councillor Hunt. Nigel Hunt. Councillor Nigel Hunt. Present, Stacey. Thank you. Councillor Steve Hunt. I'm here, Stacey. Thank you. Councillor Hurley. Present, thank you. Councillor James, Chris James. Present. Councillor Hugh James. Present, Stacey. <coughs> Councillor Chris Jones. <coughs> Present, Stacey. Councillor <coughs> Doreen Jones. Present, Stacey. Apologies from Councillor Hugh Jones. Councillor Jane Jones. Present, Stacey. Councillor Leanne Jones. Present, Stacey. Apologies from Councillor Rob Jones. Scott, Councillor Scott Jones. Yes. Pre Co present. Thank you. Councillor Keogh. Councillor Keogh. No. Present, oh, present. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Noyle. I'm here. Thank you. Councillor Latham. Yeah, present, Stacey. Councillor Lewis. Councillor Lewis. Yes. Councillor yes. Llewellyn. Um, person also is here present. Thank you. Councillor Lockyer. Uh, present, Stacey. Councillor McGrath. <coughs> present, Stacey. Councillor John Miller. Present, Stacey. Councillor Sandra Miller. Present, Stacey. Councillor Meisen. Present, all, Stacey. Present. Councillor Morgan. Present, all. Councillor Patterson. Present. Councillor Penry. Present, Stacey. Councillor Peters. Present, Stacey. Councillor Phillips. Present, all present. Councillor Prothero. Thanks, Stacey. Yes, I'm present. Thank you. Councillor Purcell. Present. Councillor Percy. Present, thank you. Councillor Rahman. Present. Councillor Rees. Present, Stacey. Councillor Renkes. Present. Councillor Reynolds. Present. Councillor Richards. Present, present all. Thank you, Councillor Peter Richards. Councillor Peter Richards. Present, Stacey. Thank you, Councillor Spooner. Present, all present. Councillor Anthony Taylor. Present. Councillor Rachel Taylor. Present. Councillor Warman. Councillor Whitelock. Present, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Councillor Williams. Present, Stacey. Councillor Wingrave. Present, Stacey. Councillor Wood. Present. And Councillor Woolcock. Present, all present. Thank you. Turning to officers, uh, Chief Executive Karen Jones. 
present, Stacey. Thank you. Howell Jenkins. No apologies from Howell today, Stacey. Oh, thank you. So who, who, who Jones? Yes, I'm here, Stacey. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Andrew Jarrett. Yeah, present, Stacey. Thank you. Andrew Thomas. Present, Stacey. Thank you. Alid. Present. Thank you. Nicola, Nicola Pierce. Present, Stacey. Thank you. Craig Griffiths. Present, Stacey. Thank you. Mike Shaw. Present, Stacey. Thank you. Any other officers participating in the meeting that I haven't called? Thank you. And to confirm, I'm Stacey Curran, Democratic Services. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Stacey. Members, finally, before we commence proceedings, can I ask if there are any interests to declare? Please indicate by raising your electronic hand via the Teams or via the chat function. And when called, please state details. Stacey will then forward an electronic version of the form to you to complete and in return email back. Um, members of Council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'd now like to call upon Councillor Sonia Reynolds to propose the election of <coughs> Mayor for the Civic Year 2021 to 2022. This will then be seconded by Councillor Suzanne Patterson. Councillor Sonia Reynolds, please. Thank you. Mr Mayor, members of council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to propose my friend and colleague, Councillor John Warman, whom I know as a tireless campaigner and a community champion. It is as a campaign opponent that I first met John. He was acting in his role as of coordinator for the NATO support group in Wales, and the disarmament debate was intense. John has achieved a great deal over the years, championing a wide range of developments and campaigns, from the very local, as in establishing a community centre for Kimler in 1988, to serving on national and more local public bodies, including his appointment as member of the Community Health Council. He remains in the forefront, engaging with issues of the minute, founding an active anti-fracking group for Neath and serving as chair and organiser of Leasehold Reform Group. John's involvement in media oversight has cut across print and TV activities, showing a clear focus on securing the best and serving public interests as General Secretary of the Protection of Privacy campaign. Alongside his membership of public bodies and 45 years as a councillor, during which he served as mayor twice previously on both Neath Town and Borough Councils, he has survived 30 years as a boilermaker in Port Talbot Steelworks. Along the way, he has found the time to be a much loved husband and father, boasting three grandchildren and keeping fit, putting many younger councillors to shame by running miles daily. I am proud to say I propose to elect Councillor John Warman as Mayor of Neath Port Talbot County Borough Council for the civic year 2021-22. Councillor Patterson, please. Thank you, Mr Mayor. <clears throat> Mr Mayor, members of council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I completely concur with the elegant speech made by Councillor Reynolds and um, I sincerely hope that conditions become better to allow Councillor Warman to conduct some of the face-to-face -face face -face engagements uh, in the current year going forward. May I remind, Marain, may I remind you, Councillor, that wherever possible, civic events are usually conducted at a walking pace, so no running. I am pleased to second the motion to elect Councillor John Warman as Mayor of Neathport Talbot County, County Borough Council for the civic year 2021 to 2022. Good luck. Thank you, Councillor Patterson. The motion as proposed and seconded is that Councillor John Warman be elected as the Mayor for Neathport Talbot County Borough Council. Members, how do you say? Aye. 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 <laughs> that sounds like a lot of eyes, Mr. Aye. Mayor. Um, so Aye. I would now invite you, Councillor Warman, to take the loyal oath and to make a formal declaration of acceptance of office. Will you please take in your right hand the Bible and repeat after me the following words. I, John Warman, 
do swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Members of Council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the official declaration will be signed at a later date and there will be no official exchange of the mayoral chains on this occasion due to the COVID restrictions. I now have pleasure in announcing that the mayoress will be Mrs. Leslie Warman. And now I'm pleased to inform everyone that the Mayor's Chaplain for the forthcoming Civic Year will be Canon Linda Newman from the Rectoral Benefits of Neath. And now as far, part of the official business to appoint the new Mayor, there will be a short adjournment as Councillor Scott Jones, the outgoing Mayor, stands down from the chair and the newly appointed Mayor, Councillor John Warman, takes up the chair for the rest of the proceedings. I would now call upon Councillor Alan Trewellyn to propose the appointment of the Deputy Mayor for the Civic Year 2021-2022. This will be seconded by Councillor Carolyn Edwards. <laughs> I know that can all of the Mr. Mayor, members of council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Guy Longavach is I, Mr. Mayor, that did not die he and Mrs. Warman, a governor of Ruin Nessa. May I congratulate you, Mr. Mayor, and wish you and Mrs. Warman well for the forthcoming year. My blessed Mahal remain with Bill Kung Ho Liv Del Morgan, a governor Suiz Vile, Kangal Buddhist Rev Sealol, Castafil for Talbot, a governor of Ruin the Nessig. Doyville, Dadigadin, E. Doyville, Dadigadai. My Dell and Gonghorid Proviadol, a Kichere Bach of Evelkanol, a Canadian Ined. My Gavach and Augustana Bodden did we thought, who in Guibod, a beer than Gidby Bodol and Soyd, a Gangavan, Elmire, and a Dell at Suidai. To me never die, Dell, a Gan, and the Rudinessav. It gives me great pleasure to propose Councillor Dell Morgan for the role. Of Deputy Mayor of Neath Talbot County Borough Council for the civic year 2021-2022. Dell is a very experienced councillor who is well respected within the council and in his community. He is a friend as well as a colleague. I know that he will serve conscientiously and will be a great support to the mayor in their respective civil roles. My best wishes to Dell and Anne for the year ahead. Councillor Edwards. Mr Mayor, members of Council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to second the motion to appoint Councillor Del Morgan as Deputy Mayor of Neath Port Albert County Borough Council for the civic year 2021-2022. to The motion as proposed and seconded is that Councillor Del Morgan be appointed as Deputy Mayor for Neath Port Talbot County Borough Council. Members, how do you say? Aye. 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 
Thank you, everyone. I think that's a resound deny there, uh, Councillor Morgan, so congratulations. Uh, so members of Council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, again, the official declaration will be signed at a later date. And I have pleasure now in announcing that the Deputy Mayor of the Civic Year will be Mrs Anne Morgan. And with that, Mr Mayor, may I now invite you to make your inaugural address. Members of Council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very privileged and proud to be standing before you today as the Mayor of Neath Port Talbot, County Borough. And I would like to thank the members of the Council for their support and confidence in giving me this wonderful opportunity <coughs> to serve as mayor. Firstly, may I thank my proposer, Councillor Sonia Reynolds, for her kind words, and with whom I share happy memories of campaigning, albeit for different organisations. And also thanks to my seconder, Councillor Suzanne Patterson. They are two first-class councillors who have built up considerable reputations as community champions in their respective wards. Following in the wake of all the capable and conscientious councillors who have served in this office will be a challenging but rewarding task. But I pledge to you that with the help of the executive support, democratic services and my wife Leslie, I will serve with the best of my abilities, energy, and commitment and will uphold the highest standards of dignity and status in keeping with the traditions of this prestigious office. No councillor will be able to perform his or her duties effectively without the assistance of the officers of the council. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank them all publicly for their courtesy and for all the help over the years they have afforded to me as an elected representative. The relationship between elected members and officers is unique. Their, their advice and information provided has always been readily available to me. And I sometimes selfishly forget the fact that they have 63 other councillors to serve in addition to me. Most importantly, I would like to say to all the electors in my Kimna ward, and the North Ward of a previous authority, but no councillor would be able to achieve the office of mayor without their continuous backing. So I'd like to thank them most sincerely for their unswerving loyalty in returning to support me as their representative over the last 45 years. At this point, I'd like to thank Leslie, my mayoress, and my family, who have been pillars of strength to me Leslie, thank you for your consideration and tolerance over the years and for enduring the uncivilised hours I have had to keep as dictated by the role of a councillor. Also, I would like to thank Scott for his help and advice and support during my time as Deputy Mayor and take this opportunity to thank him for his mayoral service, which he kindly agreed to extend due to the difficult times we have experienced during this pandemic. Scott, you have served the office of mayor with total commitment and dedication in these turbulent times, and with wisdom, tenacity, and efficiency. On behalf of the council, I thank you and appreciate your devoted mayoral service. I wish you and Gemma every good wish for the future. My theme for the civic year will be, it is people who matter, which reflects my beliefs. We are living in extremely difficult and unprecedented times with the COVID-19 virus. The threat all around us has dominated our lives and we have all been affected in some way. Some may have lost loved ones and in many cases been separated from those who matter most to us, but we will win through with all our resilience in our respective communities and wards and will come out on top. 
we will not be defeated by this pandemic. For all this, we can also thank our wonderful dedicated staff of the NHS, all care workers and our own council staff who have carried on delivering and providing essential services to all our communities. Many of these great people live amongst us in our county. We should not forget also our postmen, refuse collectors, shop assistants, police, and members of the fire service, to name but a few, who have worked tirelessly for the good of the whole community. We too should not forget and must pay tribute to all the unpaid carers and volunteers who contribute so much within our county borough. The lockdown has changed the way that we live, and I like to think that we have created more close-knit communities, willing to help each other with the spirit of togetherness. And I know that has been much in evidence. I would like to thank the press and the social media links who have continued to provide advice and help for our residents throughout the lockdown. If I may refer back to our local authority to acknowledge and thank our new Chief Executive, Karen Jones, and all our officers for their absolute professionalism and dedication, which has extended way and above the call of duty, along with all our splendid staff, many of whom have moved to other positions to deal with the health and welfare of our communities during the pandemic. In addition to the COVID difficulties, our council had to deal with extreme bad weather and flooding, and of course, the dreadful situation at Skewin with a mine shaft, which our staff and highway workers responded to magnificently. It is people who matter, and our council, along with our partnership organisations and stakeholders, have demonstrated and encapsulated my theme. The lockdown has changed the way we live, and we now have closer and more caring communities who are willing to help each other. I realise that as the Mayor, during the rest of this lockdown period, I will not be able to attend events or make visits until the rules are relaxed. But there are other ways to be in contact with the citizens of Neathport Talbot and to be available to all people in those amazing groups and organisations that have established themselves in the county borough. Until lockdown ends, with the support of the Mayoress, I will obey the guidance and promote all that is good and wonderful about Neath Port Talbot. I have chosen two charities to support this year, and I hope that everyone here today will help me once we are able to recommence fundraising activities. The first is the British Heart Foundation Cymru, who carry out a lot of good work in funding research projects, promoting fitness and heart health in teenagers through their active project, along with CPR training to create a nation of lifesavers in Wales. My second charity is the Neath Port Talbot Cancer Challenge, a local charity run by volunteers whose aim is to help with the prevention, early diagnosis, and treatment of all types of cancer. All money raised goes to helping all our local hospitals and anyone being treated within our local health board. I'm sure that you would agree with me that these are very worthy causes. My thanks to Lord Lieutenant Mrs Louise Fleet and the High Sheriff Dr Deborah Evans-Williams for joining us this afternoon. I sincerely hope but we will have the opportunity to meet in person during my mayoral year. Finally, a special thanks to Canon Linda Newman, the Rector of Neath, who has agreed to be my chaplain for the year to provide me with spiritual guidance. Thank you everyone for joining me in this virtual world, and I hope to see you all soon when we turn to normality. Thank you. Good luck, well done. Did you say chaplains are there? Okay. I would now call upon Councillor Stephen Hunt to propose a vote of thanks to the outgoing Mayor, Councillor Scott Jones, 
This will be seconded by Councillor Alwyn Woolcock. Councillor Hunt. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Mr Mayor, members of Council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it would be fair to say this afternoon, and I believe I am correct in saying, that Councillor Scott Jones has, for circumstances beyond anyone's control, now been serving as Mayor and Deputy Mayor for the longest period of time in the history of Neathport Talbot Council, having become Deputy Mayor in 2017 and Mayor in 2019, finishing his duties today, 2021. Scott, with Gemma by his side, have carried out numerous functions in, in their roles and duties. And my view, as I am sure are the views of others, will be echoed by everyone today, is Scott has been an exemplary and dedicated mayor to the people of Neath Patalbert Council, visiting, when possible, many of the wards across the whole of the area. I have heard how cheerful and warm he has been at every event and that he had been second to none on ensuring community cohesion. From my personal perspective, it was a privilege and an honour for him to come to Sam Sisters and open a mobility swing and enjoy the hospitality we provided with our very own Delays Valley Silver Band in attendance. It was a privilege to see how we interacted with young and old residents of the ward and it really was a special day for all in attendance. And I cannot thank Scott enough for putting a few smiles on the faces of those in attendance on that day. Scott, as everyone would know and be aware of, has had the normal mayoral duties curtailed so to some extent because of coronavirus. However, that did not detract from the important work he still needed to carry out as his duties as the first citizens of, of Neath and Port Talbot. Like us all, Scott had to adjust to working online in the last year of his mayoral duties, but continued to be as proactive as possible in using the technology we have all had at our means to conduct a number of online meetings, such as the second inauguration of the youth mayor, of which the previous mayor, Dennis Keogh, initiated and Scott facilitated in a very professional way. Our outgoing mayor today, Councillor Scott Jones, has been a model of determination, grit and community spirit in all his civic work and also presided over some key decisions being made at full council meetings, treating all members fairly and equally whilst carrying out his work with the challenges that the online meetings gave him. I would like to pay tribute to Scott and Gemma, given their presence at events outside of the county borough before COVID-19 and bringing other mayoral ambassadors from across Wales to Neath and Port Talbot, as was in the case of the Great Neath September Fair, which he has shown with an exemplary ambassador our outgoing mayor has been for this council. This also has to be said for the outgoing mayoress. It's also fair to say that the mayor would not have been able to achieve such a successful year without her by his side. I would be tempted now, Mr. Mayor, to say how he deserved a well-earned rest. But knowing Scott, that will not be the case, and he will be getting straight back into his councillor role within his community and Neath Port Talbot as a whole, delivering for his constituents and the community challenges that may lay ahead whilst also challenging the council at every opportunity, I'm sure. I am more than confident that his fine work will now continue under you, Mr Mayor. Uh, John, I wish you, and you uh, in your mayor's year, all the very best and success. Finally, Mr Mayor, I'm sure Scott Jones will say a lot more, but it should be recognised how efficient and professional the team he has worked with from drivers to council democratic services, other officers, but in muted yourself, Steve. Councillor Hunt, you're on mute. Oh, oh, I don't know how that happened. Where did I get up? Two apologies. Oh, only the last couple of seconds. <laughs> right. 
Did I say all right? Was I? Did I mention Julie? Yeah. I'll, I'll say that bit again. Then finally, Mr. Mayor, I'm sure Councillor Scott Jones will say a lot more, but it should be recognised how efficient and professional a team he has worked with, from drivers to council democratic service officers and other officers. But in particular, Julie Robertson is executive support. I'm sure Scott would agree um, and would say a lot more that he would have been lost without her. Well done, Julie. I have to say you've been amazing. I'm not sure how many mayors or, or, or deputy mayors you have presided over, but uh, there's been quite a few. But you've Councillor Hunt, apologies, you're, or you're on mute again. Oh, is somebody muting me? I, I don't know what that's happening. Apologies to everybody. But anyway, I think I was at the end. Not sure how many mayors uh, you have pre presided over, Julie, but you've always done a fantastic job, as you have for every councillor who have ever had the privilege and honour of becoming the mayor of Neath Talbot Council. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Good luck and best wishes on your, your uh, mayoral year. Thank you, everyone. Councillor Woolcock. Mr Mayor, members of Council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to second the vote of thanks to Councillor Scott Jones for his service as Mayor of the County Borough of Neath Port Talbot for what has been an extended period of two years as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. Just as that period has been an extraordinary one for all of us, Scott has certainly experienced an unusual term of office where undertaking Councillor Wilcock, apologies, you're on mute now as well. I'm not I'm not sure what's happening. I, I I'm sorry. Shall I start that paragraph again? Yeah. Yes, please. Thank you. Just as that period has been an extraordinary one for, for us all, Scott has certainly experienced an unusual term of office where undertaking normal duties was not possible due to three separate lockdowns. That included visits to important events such as 90th birthdays and diamond wedding celebrations. And while those celebrating those, those milestone events were disappointed, they were equally understanding of the extraordinary circumstances that prevented Scott and his good wife Gemma from personally joining them in their celebrations. Nevertheless, the pandemic placed additional demands on his time and on behalf of all members, officers and everyone associated with Emeraldi, I know that we wish to extend our sincere thanks to Scott for his service over a two year period as mayor of the county borough. Mr. Mayor, I formally second the vote of thanks. Yeah, yeah. And Mr. Mayor, can, uh, former mayor, I should say, Councillor Jones now. Uh, can I add my personal thanks as well uh, to what the members have said this afternoon for the way you've conducted yourself, particularly in the last year. You've taken all these changes in your stride and we've been most grateful to you for the way in which you've done that. So just returning to the agenda, the mayoral medallion, the outgoing mayoress's brooch and the pictorial record of the past civic years has already been presented to Councillor Jones and Mrs Gemma Jones uh, prior to this meeting. And can I now ask the outgoing Mayor, Councillor Scott Jones, to formally respond? Thank you, Mr Mayor, members of Council, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. The last few years have been a very special time for Gemma and I, firstly as Deputy, Deputy Mayor back in 2017. I'd like to pass on my gratitude and thanks for honouring us uh, with the role uh, of Mayor and Mayoress for the County Borough of Neath Port Albert. Uh, can I say what a privilege it's been. During my term in office, we have attended many events and I've had the opportunity to meet many citizens of our County Borough. We have shared many special birthdays and anniversary and each time we have been warmly welcomed and it's meant so much to us. 
also visiting neighbouring county boroughs where we've been able to meet with other mayors, mayoresses and consorts, which give a great opportunity for us to promote our county borough, which I was very pleased to do so. We have received visitors from abroad and welcome many people to the parlour and other enjoyable events we attended prior to the lockdowns were the Great Neath Fair, the degree ceremonies at Swansea University, Remembrance Parades, Battle of Britain, the Armed Forces Festival and my Christmas show to name but a few. One mem memorable visit I made in early 2020 was to Tata Steelworks, where I spent the day being showed around the whole of the site, wearing all the safety gear and clothing and seeing the steel making process from start to finish. Until that day, I hadn't appreciated quite how large the operation was, nor the scale of the plant. Another memorable occasion was my visit to MS Research Department at Swansea University. As you will know, the Regional Multiple Sclerosis Society was one of the charities I chose to support during my term, and it was fascinated to see all the good work being carried out in a search for a cure for this devastating disease. I would now personally uh, like to wish the incoming mayor and mayoress, John and Leslie, every success in the future and hope that during their time in office, we will return to some sort of normality and that they will also have the opportunity to fully enjoy their role. Finally, I come to the most important part of my speech where I really would like to thank some very key people for the massive support I've received these past mayoral years and previous years as the Deputy Mayor. First and foremost, to my wife Gemma for her total support during the mayoral term. Uh, without your help and dedication, it would have been very, very difficult. I'd like to thank my chaplain, David Gage, for his commitment and guidance over the past two years, and who, along with Reverend Beverly Reaney, made my Civic Sunday such a special occasion. Many thanks to the Lord Lieutenant, Mrs. Louise Fleet, and to the High Sheriff, Dr. Deborah Evan Williams, for joining me this afternoon. I'd like to thank both Councillor Steve Hunt and Councillor Arwin Wilcock for their very kind words. And again, thanks to all members across the Council for your faith in me. I'd like to personally thank our Chief Executive and her officers for the guidance and help over the past years, and would like to wish Karen Jones, our Chief Executive, every success in her new role going forward. As I know and have stated quite clearly in public, she's a breath of fresh air to us. I'd like to offer my appreciation to Grace Arfenny and to the team who put so much work into the organisation of the Mayor's Armed Forces Festival in 2019, an event I was so proud to attend. No one could take on this office without the support of the staff in the Mayor's office, and Gemma and I would like to offer our sincere thanks to the Mayor's Secretary, Julie, for everything that she's done for me as the mayor. I know hard work, I know the hard work that you've done, and we appreciate your help and support over past years. Also to Mark 1 and Mark 2, who prior to the lockdown looked after us so well, ensuring we turned up safely and on time to every event. Also to John Fry, our photographer, who's always made sure I and Gemma are always looking presentable in our photographs. So thanks very much, John. My sincere thanks to Stacey and to Jane in the Democratic Services uh, for keeping me in line, particularly in full council meetings and briefings. Uh, and last but not least, uh, our head of legal services who's given me great support uh, and advice over time, Mr. Craig Griffiths. Finally, I'd like to wish everyone all the very best in health and hope that this pandemic will soon come to an end and then we can all meet together again. Thanks very much. Diolch Vaurion. Thank you very much for that, Scott. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this afternoon's events and I now declare the official proceedings closed. There will be a short interval before we proceed, proceed with other matters on the agenda for decision today. Please rejoin 
this meeting invitation at 2.45 when we will recommence. The meeting is now closed. Thank you. I see red. I see red. Thank you, Neil, for the flowers. You thank her. Okay, thank you. Okay. Right. Where are we by now?